This has been a horrifying afternoon and evening for a lot of residents in southern Alabama. We want to bring you the latest now on a shooting spree that ended a short time ago. Officials in southern Alabama, right near the border of Florida in Geneva, are reporting at least seven people killed and an eighth the gunman. Apparently at a, uh, a number of different incidents that happened late this afternoon. And joining us now for the latest is the mayor of Geneva, Alabama, Mayor Winton Melton. Mayor Melton, can you tell us exactly how many killed, how many injured, and, and, and wh how did all this uh, wrap up tonight? To the best of my knowledge, it started with the gunman's mother about 20 miles uh, from where we are here in Geneva, Alabama. Uh, then it, the, 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 uh, most, most of the murders took place in Sampson, Alabama, uh, where there were eight fatalities, uh, uh, there in Sampson. Then as he left Sampson, traveling 52 east toward Geneva, Alabama, he was just randomly shooting everything he could see, and he shot uh, uh, a gentleman on, uh, on a pickup truck and killed him. He was intercepted by Geneva police. Uh, Officer uh, Ricky Morgan rammed his uh, vehicle and knocked him off of the road. He did the fire at Officer Morgan at least twice, nearly missing him in the in, in the uh, police vehicle. Uh, Chief of Police Geneva Frankie Lindsay was approaching the scene. The gunman fired an assault rifle at, at uh, Chief Lindsay, striking his vehicle in a, a number of places and grazing Chief Lindsay on the shoulder. Uh, not seriously, he's fine, but it did graze him on the shoulder. By that time, we had a number of officers involved, and they were chasing him uh, uh, through uh, the city of Geneva. He turned north on Alabama Highway 27, and for some reason, unknowing to us at this time, pulled into the parking lot of an industry we know is reliable products here, a metal fabrication plant, where he again uh, 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 was uh, approached by law officers later that that fired at him, an exchange of fire took place. He went into uh, the building where at least 400 people were working, but he did not fire at any of them. Instead, he fired on himself and killed himself. The, the total fatalities, so far as I know now, are, are 10, including the gunman. Uh, uh, they were, uh, or maybe let's see, let me count that. Well, one. Mayor, just to be clear, it sounds like, uh, you, I mean, 10 including the government, but it sounds like this could have been a lot worse because I just heard you say that uh, he went into a building that had 400 people and essentially right. committed suicide in front of them, did not shoot anybody. Is, is that right. what you're saying? That's right. Now, I don't know if he was in front of them, but he went in the building and killed himself where 400 people were working. That is correct. Any, uh, can you describe how long this, uh, all of this uh, lasted today? How long was this sort of rampage and shooting spree? probably in the neighborhood of 30 minutes. And again, uh, the injured have been accounted for, at least 10 dead. Obviously, a lot of people are shaken up. Uh, any indication whatsoever who the gunman is, uh, what his motivation may have been? I heard he was a white male in his mid-30s, and no one to this point knows. Uh, it's been investigated by a number of law enforcement agencies. The motive is unknown. Uh, uh, maybe it will be revealed within you know, the investigation, but uh, no one knows the motive uh, at this juncture to the best of my knowledge. All right, Mayor Whitten Melton is the mayor of Geneva, Alabama, where this uh, incident to happened. He's reporting at least 10 people dead, including the gunman. And again, the, the news is it could have been uh, even worse. As horrifying oh, yeah. as it was with this gunman essentially going on a rampage and shooting indiscriminately uh, across three different yeah. towns, he, uh, he finished essentially at a Thank building that had uh, 400 people in it. Uh, he did not shoot anyone there. He simply uh, turned the gun on himself and committed suicide.